Welcome to Grab and Go, episode 15. Today I'm going to talk about what Bible says about emotional and spiritual burnout through the story of Elijah. There was a prophet named Elijah. He was a great man of God. He was the one, along with Moses, appeared at Jesus' transfiguration. In 1 Kings 18, we see that he had just had a very high spiritual experience on Mount Carmel. There was severe famine. The drought lasted three and a half years. And Elijah had a contest against the 450 prophets of Baal, an idol, on the mountain, Mount Carmel. Elijah called on the name of the Lord, Yahweh God, and prophets of Baal called on their God. And the Lord showed the people God's powerfulness and Baal's powerlessness. It was a great moment. It was a mountaintop experience. Of course, Elijah felt very good, very high. And yet, interestingly, Elijah got depressed after this amazing experience. He ran off to the other side of the mountain and hid under the tree. Then later, he hid in a cave and said, God, I am so depressed. It is too much. I want you. He said even this, I want you to end my life. Have you been there? Or are you there? Do you know anyone who has suffered from emotional and spiritual burnout like Elijah? When we are emotionally and spiritually burnout drained, we tend to make mistakes to, to turn our emotional slump into depression. In God's Redemy for Burnout, Reverend Rick Warren suggests the four common mistakes based on the first king. And let me introduce those four suggestions. Mistake one. We focus on our feelings rather than the facts. Verse 4, he prayed that he might die. I've had enough, Lord, he said. Elijah said, I've had enough, Lord. I'm fed up. It's no use trying. I'm going to give up. This emotional reasoning says, if I feel it, it must be so. I feel like a failure, therefore, I am a failure. People say, I don't always feel God's presence. But that doesn't mean God is far from you. People say about their problem, I feel it's hopeless, I feel overwhelmed, therefore, it is hopeless and overwhelming. Well, not really. Emotional reasoning can lie. Emotional reasoning is not always facts. When we are emotionally drained, we focus on our feelings rather than the facts. Mistake 2. We compare ourselves to others. When we are emotionally and spiritually drained, we tend to compare ourselves to others. This is what Elijah did. He said in verse 4, Take my life. I'm no better than my ancestors. I'm no better than my ancestors. Comparing himself to his ancestors. The Bible warns, it, warns against it over and over again. It says, do not compare. When we start comparing ourselves to others, we are setting ourselves up for depression. Warren says, quote unquote, when we compare ourselves, we compare our weaknesses to other people's strength. <laughs> we ignore the fact that they have weaknesses that we may be strong in. It makes sense, doesn't it? 
when we when when we are emotionally drained, first we focus on our feelings rather than the facts, and second we compare ourselves to others. And mistake three, we blame ourselves for things that are not our fault. We blame ourselves for the things for things that are not our faults. Elijah blamed himself. In his depression, Elijah blamed himself for failing to convert the entire nation. <laughs> the entire nation of Israel. Elijah cried out, Lord, the people have rejected your covenant and broken down your altars and put your prophet's death with a sword. He took this big load upon his shoulders and said, It's all my fault. I've been working really hard, but nobody has changed. He basically said the whole world hasn't converted. Therefore, it is my fault. We tend to blame ourselves and we are when we are feeling emotionally low. But we can be responsible to someone without being responsible for someone. Yes, you need to be responsible to your spouse and children, your children, but you don't have to be responsible for them. You can influence people, but you cannot control them. Yes, they have a free will. When we are emotionally and spiritually drained, First, we focus on our feelings rather than the facts. Second, we compare ourselves to others. And third, we blame ourselves for things that are not our fault. Mistake four, we exaggerate the negative. When we are emotionally and spiritually low, we may exaggerate the negative. Elijah said in the last part of the verse 10, I am the only one left. And now they are trying to kill me too. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Everybody is against me. Everybody hates me. Nobody loves me. Does it sound familiar? The fact, the fact is, there was only one person who was fighting him. There was the queen, the queen Jezebel. She had gotten jealous of Elijah's popularity and power in the nation. So the queen of the nation sent him a messenger and said, If you don't get out of the country now, I'm going to have you killed. So Elijah ran across the desert and hid in a cave. The fact was, there was only one person against him, but he exaggerates. He exaggerates, everybody is against me. Have you noticed the fact that when you are depressed, everything seems to go wrong? Not just things you are depressed about, but everything goes wrong. <laughs> Elijah said, I am the only one. And God replied, No, you are not. I have reserved 7,000 in Israel who have not bowed their knees to Baal. There are 7,000 people in this nation that haven't followed this false god, this idol. They are still True to me, they are still faithful. You are not the only one. There are 7,000 people. <laughs> when we are emotionally and spiritually drained, we focus on our feelings rather than the facts. We compare ourselves to others. We blame ourselves for, the thing, for things that are not our faults. And we exaggerate the negative. 
Through the example of Elijah in the Bible, God provides, God provides us the opportunity to examine what, mista- what mistakes we make when we are emotionally and spiritually drained. At the same time, God wants us, God wants us to acknowledge that God healed Elijah. God helped Elijah to do things to overcome his emotional and spiritual burnout. And I'll talk about how God helped Elijah overcome his burnout in the next episode. Stay well. Stay well. So long.